The most I said, forget about that. That ain't gonna be restored to you. You ain't getting that no more. You ain't getting that back. Or why y'all don't want to keep no commandments? All right. Give me Second Ezra 13. I'm gonna show you how the Northern Kingdom got over here because you said we was already over here. Which you right. We wasn't, but the Northern Kingdom was already over here. Second Ezra 13, right quick. Same people. Yeah, we didn't. Yeah, yeah. No, I told we you the same people. Yeah. yeah. Um, forty. Uh huh. Yeah. Second Ezra. Second Ezra chapter 13, verse 40. Uh huh. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners. So it says those were the ten tribes from Ephraim on down, the ten tribes that was carried away prisoner, read. Out of their own land. They were taken, they were taken out of their own land, read, which is, is Jerusalem. Read. In the time of Osir, uh -huh. the king. Osir the king, read. Who summoned the Nelson, uh -huh. the king of a a Assyria. And the king of Assyria, read, which is the Arab, read. Led away captive. Uh -huh. And he carried them over the waters. So he carried them over the waters, but what happened? And so came they into another land. So they came into another land, read. But they took this council among themselves. So when, uh, when the king of Assyria brought them into their land, eventually he of freedom. So when they took they took it a month and says they know we ain't gonna go back to our land. We're gonna go to a further land, which way? That they will leave the multitude of the heathen. Uh -huh, of the heathen, which is the other nations read. And go forth into a further country. So they say, you know, we're gonna we're gonna go into another country that way. Where never mankind dwell. So no man that ever so the land they came to was over here because no man had ever put in this land at that time. Let's see what God called it. Read. That they might there keep their statutes, uh -huh. which they never kept in their own land. So they came over here and to keep their laws, but we're gonna see, but they they stopped keeping them when they got over here. Read. And they enter into Euphrates uh -huh. by the narrow passages. So they enter into the Euphrates River by the narrow passages. So they came down and then they came up when they came and read. Of the river. Uh -huh. For the most high then showed signs for them and held still the flood. I held still the flood from so like I said, they left them here and they came down the road, they came up into South, Central, and North America. Read. Till they were passed over. Uh-huh. For through that country, uh -huh. there was a great way to go. Because from, 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 from there, from the southern part of Africa to over here, that's a long way to go. And how long was it? Namely, over a year and a half. So God said it took our forefathers a year and a half just to get over here from the, uh, the, the northern kingdom. Read. In the same region. Called, what's this region called? It's called Osirith. So if you look up in the Jewish Encyclopedia of Osirith, it'll tell you that Osirith is called is now called America today. So like I said, you was right, yeah. Our people was over here, the northern kingdom was over here, which is our people. Yeah, so they yeah. got over here, they, they got over here, um, they came over here, it took them a year and a half just to get over here. So now go back to where we was. Deuteronomy 28, we was at Deuteronomy 28 and 6 state, we were showing that because we broke the laws, we went into slavery as a nation of people. So Deuteronomy 28 and verse 6 state again from the top. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Read. Yeah. Yeah, stay with me, bro. Stay with me. Just be patient. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Slavery again. Again with ships. With slave ships. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. And what's going to happen? Thou shalt see it no more again. You're going to see our homeland no more again, you little read. And there. And there we got your behinds off them slave ships in Savannah and uh, Virginia and New York. Wherever the slave ships landed, guess what, what's going to happen? You shall be sold. I said y'all was going to be sold to whom? Unto your enemies. You was going to be sold to your enemies for what? For bond men. For slave Men and what? And bond women. And slave women and what? And no man shall buy you. Nobody gonna be able to save y'all out of this condition that y'all in. Verse 48. So we're gonna go into slavery and nobody gonna be able to save us. Verse 48. Deuteronomy Deut chapter 28, verse 48. Uh -huh. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. Uh, okay, hey, are we? Which the Lord shall send against thee. So God says, the enemies that came against y'all, guess what? I sent them against y'all. Right. And what? In hunger. So guess what? When they came and rounded up the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Indians, them the same people that rounded, up, rounded us up. Read on. And in thirst. And in thirst. So when you need something to drink, guess what? You got to go to them for it. Uh, uh, you got to go to McDonald's, Kroger's, Bilo's, whatever. You got to go to them for water. Like I said earlier, you got if you get a house, guess what? You got to go to them and tell them, hey, I need my water turned on. Read. Right. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. The clothes we wear, guess what? We got to go to them for that. Read. And in want of all things. And in want of all things. The, uh, your religion, your education, whatever you need, guess what? You go to them for that. Read. Right. And he shall put. Read that thing slow. Put the emphasis on what? And he. And he. The your enemy shall do it. Shall put a yoke of iron. You gonna put a yoke of iron away upon thy neck. Upon thy neck. So guess what? The Bible is a true book. God said the people that call themselves Moors and all. Guess what? These the same people that had the yokes of iron put on their neck. And I call them Israelites. Read. Until he have destroyed thee. Until he have destroyed thee. Now we are destroyed. We don't know who we are. A brother Earth said he was a Christian. One brother said he was he was a Baptist. That's a that's a religion. Like I said, you said you was you was more more just mean black. God said no, you. Look 
You are in life from the tribe of Judah, Benjamin, yes, or Levi, whatever your father is. You the greatest thing that walked the face of the earth. The reason yes, we at the bottom is because we don't keep God's laws. That's right. the reason why we went in the, in the condition we in. Hey, brother, because when, when you walked up, you said they took the land from us. Because you have an understanding that all people, the so the neat, when I, they make no mistake. When they came to this side of the world, they was they was astonished. Like they were first of all, they were seeking the twelve tribes of Israel. Right. They know we the Israelites. Right, right. So when they came over here, they saw Negroes over here with kingdoms built up. That's right. Just like we had kingdoms and, and, and everything built up over there in Africa, the north the, the northeast part of Africa. And so they saw the same thing when they came over to this side of the world. Right. Because guess what I am? I'm also from the tribe of Gad. I'm northern kingdom of Israel, like the officers bringing out. That our people was already over here. Give me that in Deuteronomy. Uh, first, give me uh, 31. Deuteronomy. Because they came and they took the land. They took all the. They took all our, uh, our food, the herds of of, of cow, uh, not cattle, but the oxen and everything. They came and took it, and and the buffalo. They killed off the buffalo. But that's Bible prophecy. That's part of the curses that was placed on the the children of Israel. Right. And that's yeah. what happened when they came right. over on this right. side of the road. Listen right. to this. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse thirty-one. Come on. Thine ox shall be slain before thine eyes. Come on. And thou shalt not eat thereof. Because what did they do? They took all the buffalo, all the oxen, and they and they piled them up and they burnt them up. They burnt. They they took all our means of food and killed it off just so they can starve us. Right. Read. Thy ass shall be violently uh -huh. taken away from before thy face. Come on. And shall not be restored to thee. Uh -huh. Thy sheep shall be given unto thine enemies. They what? Thine and thy sheep shall be given unto thine enemies come on and thou shalt have none to rescue them uh-huh come on that on um, verse 32 thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people stop so what they did like when we had camps they came and took the children and they put them in boarding schools they came and took the children and sold them off right. when, when, when they came over this side of the world they took a lot of our, our people and put them on slave ships right. and took them to spain so we were over there in Spain. Give me verse 22. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 22. Come on. Yeah. The Lord shall smite thee with a cons consumption uh -huh. and with a fever uh -huh. and with an inflammation infl 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 and with an extreme burning. And with the what? Extreme burning. Come on. And with the sword and with blasting and with mildew. 25. Verse 25, uh -huh. the Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. So stop. And so our enemies, the so-called white man, he's the Edomite. The Bible called him the Edomite. Right. God said we should be slain before our enemies. Meaning when they came over this side of the world, what did they do? They started killing us off. Read. Thou shalt go out one way against them, uh -huh. and flee seven ways before them, uh -huh. and shalt be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. And thy carcass shall be meat unto all fowls of the air, and unto the beasts of the earth, and no man shall pray them away. The first uh, 33. Verse 33. The fruit of thy land Come on. and all thy labors uh -huh. shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. So the fruit of our land. When they came over here, remember, we had crops and everything built up. We already had kingdoms erected. We already, like when they went to Puerto Rico, the natives already, they had diamonds and gold. Right. They named Puerto Rico the Port of Riches because it was so, it was, it was so, it had so many riches. They, they like, what are these Negroes doing playing with diamonds? They children playing with diamonds. Right, right. Come on. And thou shalt be only oppressed. You shall be what? Shall be only oppressed. So how? We the richest people because God gave us the law, statutes, and commandments. Yes. God yes. said we're supposed to be ruling the earth. But now we're being oppressed. It don't matter where you go amongst Israel, we're going to be oppressed. If you go over to the, to the Dominican Republic, if you go over to uh, uh, Mexico, if you go over to Puerto Rico, if you come over here to America, if you go out to, to, to anywhere where we dwell, us as a people, we're gonna be oppressed. Right, right, right. And crushed of all of what our way. Uh-huh. So that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thine eyes, come on, which thou shalt see. 
The Lord shall smite thee in the knees. The Lord shall what? Smite thee in the knees. Come on. And in the legs. Uh huh. With a sore box. With the what? A sore box. So, cause when they came over here, what did they do to the Negroes, to the natives over here, to, to the tribe of, of Cat? They gave them what? What did they? Smallpox. They gave them smallpox. Right. <laughs> Read. That cannot be healed. Uh huh. From the sole of thy feet. So many people died from smallpox. Read. Right. Uh, to the top of thy head. Uh huh. Come on. The Lord shall bring thee, and thy king which thou shalt set over thee. Stop. Because why? Why, why did we walk around with, with crowns of feathers? Who walked around with crowns of feathers? The natives, showing that they're royalty. So the, even the chiefs, the chiefs, the king, they didn't respect none of our people that we esteem. They said, no, 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 no. All of you are going to be servants unto us because we are now the powers that be. Read. Unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. So that's even us over on the west coast of Africa being brought over here. We still have people that we esteemed up high. We still had chief, we still had great men amongst us, leaders amongst us. And they brought them over here on slave ships. So what the brother was showing, what the officer was showing you is that that happened to Northern Kingdom Israel, Southern Kingdom Israel. Right. We really one group of, we one nation of people. That's right. The tribe of Judah, African American blacks, Benjamin, Benjamin, West Indian blacks, Levi, the Haitians, Ephraim, Puerto Ricans, Manasseh, Cubans, and so on. We're one group of people. So that's what the officer was showing you is that we one collective. We are all people of color and all of the, the Caucasians consider us all Negroes. So when you make that statement, when you said they took the land from us, that's why they won't put down the guns. They know what people, they know we the greatest thing that the Most High God made. Right. We the strongest of the people, right. Right. mentally, physically stronger. Right. And so they have to use weapons against us to defeat us and to conquer us. But that, was, right. that was told to us in the Bible that that will happen because we went astray from the commandments. Right. And so God said, therefore, we have to serve our enemies, right. which are the other nations that rule against us and oppress us keep us in the ghettos and slums keep us in on reservations keep us the poorest of the people hey brother you know what we teaching say elder hey brother you know what we teaching you got a flyer get a good brother flyer I'm good, brother. you good so what you gonna do you gonna come up the brother learning and you just gonna step up and interrupt the learning listen brother i don't need you disrespecting me that ain't disrespect that ain't what i did that ain't disrespect. You know How is that disrespect? That ain't what I did. What did you just say I did? You said the brother was learning. We was dialoguing. And, and you walked up and stuck right in front of him. That's the black man today. Give me Titus 2. Bring it up! Man today. So we tripping. disrespectful you to tripping. each other. You tripping. We, the brother learning. You tripping. Tell him the good stuff that you learning. Tell the brother the good news that you hearing. The brother is hearing that he's the greatest thing the most I God ever created. Right. Right. But the elder, you see, he's he's a man with great health. He should be teaching us these things so we can rise up against our enemies. That's right. He don't want nothing to do with the truth, though. That's not right. true. Hey, that's not true. Huh? He got a lot of knowledge. He got a lot of knowledge. Well, come and show us. Come and teach us. How do you walk in front of some men, standing up, trying to bring up their people, trying to get the black man to wake up out of slumber, and you don't even come and acknowledge. You come and step in front of the learning and hinder the learning. That's the state of the black man. Give me that in Job 31. That's the state of the black man today. That shows that how far we come, how far we fell as a people. That's we right. can't dialogue, we can't come together and unite. This is why, this right. is the beginning of us uniting to empower each other. Right. But a lot of our brothers, they walk to and fro because they got better things to do. Right. They don't even hearken, they don't even listen. Read. Job chapter 32 verse 7. Yeah. I said, they should speak and a multitude of years should teach wisdom. Read it again. I said days should speak. So a lot of days, if you walk this earth for a long time and you've seen a lot of days, read. A multitude of years should teach wisdom. It should teach you wisdom. You should have some understanding when you come of age. Right. Once you're walking around, you, 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 you've lived a couple years, you've experienced some things, that should teach you wisdom. Read. Right. But there is a spirit in, in man. But there's the spirit. God said there's the spirit in the sons of in the, in the in men, meaning the men of Israel. There's a spirit in us. Read. And the inspiration uh -huh. of the Almighty uh -huh. give it 
them understanding. Come on. Great men are not always wise. So Good. men who got high titles, they're not always wise. Uh -huh. right? Neither do the age understand judgment. So just because a man may have gray hair and may seem to have some understanding, he don't have no damn knowledge because how do you, when you look at the conditions of our people, we should be mad as hell. Hey. Every uh -huh. black man should be on the street corner with a solution trying to raise up the brothers. That's right. Guess what? That's, that's why I ain't kept moving. That's, that's why, why I ain't kept moving. Say, say it again. What'd you say? That's why I ain't kept moving. So you have to come and see. You said, who are these militant looking brothers with these boots on? Right, and right, order, right. screaming on the corner. That's right. I, I already know I already know about everything. But you know, it, it's not that's the you're right, that is the problem with us. We all this separation stuff between us. And you're right, we all the children. We all the children of Israel. We the children of it. We got so we God. God said that we are the gods of the earth. The other nations know that we are the gods of the earth. But guess what? We don't know who we are, and we don't care to know who we are. That's why we can't unite. Everybody want to know. Okay, well, we got the Million Man March, right? How many brothers go up there with different, different theologies, different uh, uh, ideologies, and different things that they into, and we trying to unite? No, God says we the nation of Israel, and we have to unite under that umbrella. That's right. the one true God. Apparently. Right. Read Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. Listen to this. Gather yourselves together. No, walk past my brothers. You look like me in the ghettos and stumps of America with the solution crying and mad on the corners because we oppressed. Read. Gather yourselves together. No, I'm going to walk past them. Yay, gather together. Uh huh. Oh, nation, not desire. The Bible says that we are the nation, not desire. That's why we on reservations. Uh, uh, starving to death. That's why we in the ghettos and slums right here. Yama crawl. Hey, hey, That's why we. Stop. We were just talking about that in our meeting today. What you just said. Absolutely. Word for word. I, but that's what the Bible well. say. God say we the greatest thing, but we won't unite. So therefore, we in reservation starving. Therefore, we in the ghettos of, of America selling crap to each other, burning each other down. We Crips. We Bloods. We GDs. We in the prison system. Right. Men, husbands, fathers, sons, brothers, cousins, uncles, supposed to be in the community, in their family structure, rebuilding their people. Right. And we in the prison systems. Right. With long sentence terms. But make no mistake, that's not by coincidence. Right. That's because they scared as hell of us. Right. They scared of hell of Freedom. us. Because we are the most powerful people God created. Right. That's why we've been able to last so long. And these Dog, in these dog conditions, right. on the bottom of society, eating the worst of the worst, the worst Popeyes. They don't eat Popeyes, Burger King. They got. They don't have a liquor store on every corner. They don't have a church in every corner in their hood. In their neighborhoods. That's for us. That's so we can be destroyed. That's right. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth.
So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.